There's a new national grassroots organization formed right after the elementary school shootings in Newtown, Connecticut. Its goal is to reduce gun violence, much like mothers against drunk driving, reduce driving under the influence. Our guests are from the local chapter of One Million Moms for Gun Control, Dawn Tringis and Molly Malloy. Dawn, Molly, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Um, uh, it's kind of a vague question, but there's something about the, the term uh, a million mothers. I mean, a million is good, but the term mothers, there's something about mothers that sort of gives your organization sort of a, a kind of a moral authority. Uh, how, how do you feel about that? Well, uh, our founder, um, her name is Shannon Watts, is a mother of five, and the way she described it is mothers cajole, we organize, we protect as a role. And um, so what better use for our skills as mothers than to try to cajole Congress into enacting laws to try to keep our children safe and protect them. And um, mothers can be very powerful. There are 84 million mothers in America and uh, we think we can have a strong voice if we pull together. And uh, similarly on that, Dawn, of course this just happened five weeks ago. Um, what caused you to get involved in this? Um, it was twofold, actually. Um, Shannon Watts, the founder, and I went to high school together. And um, we follow each other on Facebook, and I saw that she was just so incensed by the Newtown shootings that she launched this One Million Moms for Gun Control on her Facebook page. And I called her up and I asked her what could I could do to support her cause, and she said, start a Massachusetts chapter. And it was within the hour that Molly and our other co-chapter leader, Monique, joined as well. And um, secondly, I was also a victim of gun violence when I was 17 years old. I was held at gunpoint in my home alone for about 20 minutes. And luckily, the, the gun did not go off. I was not injured. But we lived in a, in a very small town in Fairfield County, Connecticut, much like Newtown, Connecticut. And I've always felt like if it could happen to me, it could happen to anyone. And then with the Newtown shootings, it sort of brought all those emotions right back up. Sure, I can imagine. Um, before I forget and get you know, off into some of the weeds of this discussion, uh, you folks have an event uh, tomorrow at the State House. So tell me a little bit about that. We'll, we'll start with, with you, Molly. Tell me a little bit about the event tomorrow. Yes, we are um, calling our event the Rally at the State House. It is at 11.30 a.m. We have a lineup of speakers who will be commenting on this issue, talking about how it has touched their lives. Um, Mayor Menino has sent over a statement. He was unable to be there due to health. Um, uh, and Representative David Linsky will be speaking. He has just proposed a new bill in the uh, Massachusetts legislature to close some of the loopholes that exist even in Massachusetts gun laws. And um, he has been a um, very vocal person in this debate for years. So we're very much looking forward to hearing him speak. Um, we also have a, a number of mothers and fathers who will be speaking as well, just um, as one's a, a children's author and one is a, um, a surgeon, one is a journalist. And so we really are going to hear voices from moms and dads, the ones, the grassroots people who started this, and our legislators. Uh, thank you. You mentioned Representative Linsky and, of course, Mayor Menino. Uh, politicians. Um, Mayor Menino, of course, a, a great leader here in Boston, and, and his counterpart in New York, Mayor Bloomberg, sent a lot for this. Uh, they happen to be Democrats. I guess Bloomberg maybe was once an independent. But uh, Republicans matter in this debate quite a bit, too. Maybe what they might say might even have more influence. Now, you folks may have a little leverage there. I understand you guys are a, a nonpartisan organization. That is correct. That is correct. And, and at the end of the day, this should not be a debate between two parties. This should be a coming together among citizens the public opinion is that we do have a gun violence problem in our country. That is public opinion. The majority of people do believe there is a problem in our country with gun violence. So we need to get together as a majority and be as vocal as the minority and see what we can do about passing gun safety legislation. And that means coming to the table, Republicans and Democrats, gun, responsible gun owners and people who don't have guns to, to move this forward. Uh, now, here in our state, it might seem like a, a pretty easy vote for somebody in, a Congress, in the Congress to vote for your agenda. And I want to get into the specific agenda in, a, in about a moment, but, but nationally it's different. Uh, maybe there's places where this is a pretty tough vote. Um, what kind of leverage is your organization going to have there? Well, as noted, um, there are 84 million moms in America, and our organization is at this point not politicians, not lobbyists. We are simply moms. And we do feel, however, that if we collectively join our voices, uh, we can be heard. Um, 
We are utilizing social media. We are utilizing Facebook and Twitter. At this point, our national Facebook page has over 40,000 likes. And even Facebook um, has told us that they were surprised and impressed that there were that many supporters in such a brief amount of time. This organization is only five weeks old. And um, our organizers are um, issuing calls to action to all of our members. And some of these calls to action are going to include um, informing each individual member and informing all concerned citizens to contact their individual legislators, their elected representatives. A person can go online very easily and find out who their elected representatives are for their particular city, district, um, and uh, a website to do that in Massachusetts is www.wheredoivotema.com. You can put in your address and very easily come up with the contact details of your senator um, and representative at the state level, at the national level, and you can inform those elected officials that you would like them to support common sense gun legislation. Thank you. I was just going to ask where they can go for more information. And before we run out of time, of course, the common sense gun legislation, uh, Dawn, if I could just get you to ask me specifically some of the goals and maybe how they rank in priorities. What, what's your top priority? There's about four of them I see right in front of me here. Right. So we'd like to have um, a ban on assault weapons and ammunition clips of above 30 rounds. And, and Governor Cuomo worked on that as well. And, and he um, has done a great job sort of setting the stage for New York. And if we could follow his lead, we would, um, we would all be safer. We'd like to require background checks for all gun purchases all gun purchases, so there are so many loopholes. Even in Massachusetts, there are loopholes. We would like to report the sale of large quantities of ammunition to the ATF. We have regulations of all sorts of things in this country from um, Sudafed to fertilizer, but we, we don't have as many regulations for ammunition as we should. And finally, we'd like to limit the scope of concealed weapons at the state level, and part of that is in um, Revlinsky's bill. He's done a very good job of working on limiting the scope of concealed weapons. And I hear in my ear a good reminder that it's always good to remind people once more where they can go for more information, just so we make sure we can get that out. What was that address again for, for more information on this? Well, for more uh, information on our organization, um, it is www.1millionmomsforguncontrol.org. And for more information on who you, your individual elected representatives are and how you can contact them, the website is www.wheredoivotema.com. And you guys are also on Facebook as well. We're on Facebook, and you can look us up under One Million Moms for Gun Control. We're the Massachusetts Greater Boston Area Branch, and we are the moderators of that site. And we um, will also be there tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. at the State House. Sounds like a great day for a rally. Thank you so much for being with us from the local chapter of One Million Moms for Gun Control, Dawn Tringas and Molly Malloy.